more board for your design boards. So at first you might have a big piece, some might already be cut for you, but we're going to do a three by three inch square out of foam core board. So we're just gonna start by scoring it out, just meaning that we're making some lines. It may or may not go all the way through, and that's okay. But what we'll do is we'll take it and we can bend it if there's places where it doesn't quite cut all the way through. You can at least turn it over to the other side and find where that is and make a nice clean cut on the other end so that you have your three inch wide. And then we'll cut this one down to, well, I guess we're doing a four by four. We're ending up with a four by four. That's how things go. All right, so we have a four by four inch square. We're just gonna set that aside. And so now it's time for us to cut out our fabric from a scrap that we're going to be using. Now I don't wanna cut out something that's the exact same size because I need a little bit extra to be able to fold over the back so that we can see the full thing on the front. So I'm gonna add about an extra inch onto each side of the fabric so that I have enough to be able to wrap around for the other side. Again, you don't want too much that like both sides would wrap in and touch each other and overlap. That just ends up making it really thick. So we'll add in about another inch. Turn it the other direction, add another inch in that way. Okay. So now that we have it pretty much centered and it's fine if it still has like the surging on it from the manufacturer, we are going to use a glue gun and we are just going to be gluing on the back side of it. Make sure that you are also gluing on the back or you're applying it to the back side of your fabric so that you have the pretty side facing out. So what we're going to do is kind of a, a wrapping like we would be doing a present. I'm just going to do a square along the outside. I don't need to be gluing anything in the middle, so that's just going to be left blank. So I'm first going to start by folding my corners in at like a 45 degree angle. So they're just half of that corner. Fold it over. So fold each corner over and it's okay if it's not like even on every side, just the idea that we're keeping those corners in. Then we can wrap with the remaining part nice and tight against the edges so that we're not having any loose parts. Sometimes it might be big enough that maybe you need a little bit more glue. So by doing this, this is giving us what we call a mitered corner, which really just prevents any extra from uh, coming out the sides that you would see from the front. It makes sure that everything is stuck to the back. Hold it in place a little bit, let it go. Those corners are not gonna wanna stay, so you might have to hold them down, especially when your fabric is really thick like upholstery fabric is. Try not to get glue on your hands, it hurts a lot. So I'm gonna hold this down for a little bit and make sure that it stays, add glue as needed. And then if there's any strings left over from the glue gun, make sure to clean those off. And then we can flip it over and it's got these nice edges that you're not gonna see any of the fraying fabric. Another way that you can mount fabric onto your design board is to um, do it with pinking shears. Pinking shears are ones that have kind of these zigzag edges on it. And what that does is when there is fabric that's cut on a diagonal, it doesn't fray. So that's why we have these special scissors. And then when you put it on your design board, it's not going to fray and it's gonna look like you just cut it. So we're just gonna do a small one this time. Uh, we're gonna do it two by two. So I'm gonna measure out two inches this way two inches this way. It's sometimes hard when you have pieces that are already cut up from other people's use, but we can make it work. 
So this one is probably the easiest one. Just cut, like mark with your pencil. And then do long scissor strokes. Try not to have like tiny little inch cuts. You're trying to do the whole thing in just one big cut. So I have two sides that have the zigzag pattern on it. Um, I'm just gonna cut this third one, barely cutting any off, and I'm gonna cut off this serging part right here just so it looks uniformly within everything. So this is an easy way. It'll lay nice and flat on your design board and the edges will not fray as you're displaying it. All right, another way that you can display your fabric, and especially if you have multiple fabrics that may be going towards the same thing, you don't necessarily want to have huge pieces all over your board, taking up a lot of space that you wanna to dedicate to other things. So we're gonna do a way in which you just layer them so that you can actually see and touch and feel um, all of the different fabrics so that you can see kind of what, if there's a bigger print to it, how they would go together. So to get this, we first need to make sure that we're pinking our edges so that they aren't going to fray as they're on the display board. Okay, so now that they're all pinked, I'm going to layer them starting at the bottom about one inch apart. So the mats are really nice. They show you how far apart one inch is gonna be. And then I'm gonna have my top layer about three inches. So I wanna cut everything so that it's gonna be at that three inch mark. I'm going to, for right now, take off the top layer and not cut that one along with everything else. So see where was I at with three inches okay so I'm gonna cut it up here now your very top layer you actually want it to be the same length as the one below it because what we're gonna end up doing is taking the top and wrapping it over the back so we have things um, that will be held together so in order to do that we're just gonna make it the same size as that second one which will make it a lot easier to already have something that's cut to that size. So layered one inch apart. And I'm gonna use that extra inch that is on my top one that doesn't match up with everything else. I'm gonna use that if I turn it over to the back side. Just gonna put a strip of glue on that back end and fold it over and this is gonna hold everything together. So we'll hold that in place. And then when you go to attach it to your design board, you can just use the glue on the back part of your fabric to make sure that um, your client or whoever can be able to lift up and see all of the different layers within your fabric samples.